Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's video, we are going to set up a PPPoE connection to the ISP. First of all, let me show you the physical connection of the device. This is an optical network terminal or we call it ONT. And as you can see, there is a fiber cable connected to it. And on the other side, we have the ethernet cable. And this is the D-Link, the DIRA42, which is currently running OpenWRT. Let's connect the device to each other. The Ethernet cable from the ONT will be connected to the OpenWRT router's one port. And this yellow cable is for our LAN device and it will be connected to the PC. We're back to Lucy and let's go to our network interfaces and have a check on our interface. Uh, as you can see, we have the LAN interface and we have the WAN interface and the WAN interface is currently on the HCP client protocol. Let's click edit and then click the drop down button to change to PPPoE, right? When we then click switch protocol. And then you need to fill in your PAP or your CHAP username and password, which you receive from your ISP. And if you don't know what is your username and password, you can contact your ISP and ask them about this. So there is nothing to do with the advanced setting and the physical setting for now. However, for the firewall setting, we need to assign our one interface to the one zone, right? So we only need to pay attention on this. And when we're done, click save. And before that, let's have a check. As you can see, we have no internet connection. And uh, I will do a ping command and I will try to ping the Google DNS server and as you can see the responding destination unreachable. Now let's click save and apply and the interface should be up in a few minutes. And we're waiting for the IP from the ISP and RAID. So we receive the IPv4 and IPv6 from our internet service provider. Let me just go back to the ping command and see if we have a response. All right, so it's good. And let's just do a speed test. As you can see, this is the IP that speed test had detect and it is the same with the IP we see on our one interface. Let's have a check on the router lot and I will do another speed test. All right, so let's go back to the real-time performance and we can see that the launch is under 0 0.5 and it is good. So how about the traffic? As we can see, the traffic for the interface almost reached 180 megabits per second and this is a really good thing. And this also show us that the OpenWRT router can run PPPoE without problem. And 
that's all about the video so if you see it's helpful please like share and subscribe to the channel to support me thank you and see you in the next video